China have agreed to host a number of joint military events. The meeting between the two countries' defense ministers has led to both nations saying they'll take part in anti-terror exercises and share some of their military expertise. Well, for more, I'm now joined in the studio by Ruslan Vukov, who's the director of the Moscow-based Center for Analysis or Strategies and Technologies. Thank you indeed for joining us here. Now, not many countries get to work with China, so why Russia? In fact, this is China who choose the partners for joint exercises because uh, Chinese are very cautious. You know, they, are, they are not disclosing. They are a rather closed nation as far as their military uh, exercises policy. For instance, India, the exercise starting from Bangladesh up to the United States, including Russia, like with a wide number of nations, those who are inferior, those who are uh, more advanced. But Chinese are very uh, closed. And uh, until 2005, we also had no exercises. We had a mutual arms trade, but no military cooperation. That's why, in fact, this is Chinese who choose their partners, and we are among those with whom they exercise. So how do the two countries hope to benefit from this? In fact, uh, the essential thing uh, which people achieve at the end of this exercise and during them and preparing them, this is trust. Because uh, the lack of trust leads to conflicts and misunderstanding and misperceptions. This is probably the main uh, goal. But apart from this jointness, it's also important and uh, we, we know more about each other. And we should always keep in mind that, at least theoretically, Russia and China, this is the only ones who can uh, take the challenge of the United States in military field, because all the other countries or coalition of the countries are unable to do it uh, technically. So what kind of reaction is this likely to get in the West? I don't think that the West would be nervous, because both Russia and China, we are just at the beginning of the... Of, of the way, plus despite these exercises, we have very controversial relations, yeah, we have long-lasting border, we have very uh, complex and complicated history, both in military way and in some other ways that's why it doesn't mean that Russia trains with China against West or against the United States, yeah uh, we, we can't say that this is the beginning of military alliance plus China has much more uh, important and tangible interest on the Asia-Pacific. We have a little bit less. That's why the projection of the force of China is uh, exactly against the U.S. Our one is not. That's why I don't think that the West would be extremely nervous, and especially the United States. Okay, well, we have to leave it there for now. Thank you very much, Ruslan Pukov. Thank you for that.